Hey guys, EBP Man here, and if you're looking for the best active noise canceling headphones that have superior call quality, then you're gonna wanna check out this video, because today we're gonna take a look at the Bose 700. These are brand new, they just hit the market, and they claim to be the best. Let's check them out. Now the Bose line of headphones are known amongst business travelers as the best when it comes to active noise canceling. Well, that was until the Sony Mark III's came out that we reviewed here on the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Bose 700. We're gonna do a call quality test, EBP man style. We're gonna look at the audio quality. How's the bass, mids, and highs? Have they improved? We're also gonna take a look at the overall construction, fit and finish, because this does have a new design. And we're gonna help you with your buying decision, especially if you're considering the Bose 700. Let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, as soon as you unbox the headphones, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that the travel case is extremely small and compact. So here you have the case, and as I flip it to the side, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we reviewed the Jabra Elite 85H, we've looked at the Sony Mark III's, and we've also looked at the Q35's, and several others as well on the channel. And I find that the cases vary in size, but this, in my opinion, is probably one of the thinnest cases, and you can see how thin it is here. So it's gonna make it really easy if you want to travel with it, if you're gonna keep it uh, in your purse, backpack, in your briefcase, uh, pretty small. Now, as soon as we open up the case, we'll see some other uh, aspects of the headphones, and you'll see that there's a dramatic change in the headphone. You'll notice that this design is very different, and we're gonna see this in a little bit, uh, in a little bit, it has a lot more detail to it, so put it over to the side. Uh, you do have, again, a little uh, guide here telling you about all the controls. So all the controls are really uh, on the right, so you notice this is right, so this is what you're gonna do, your play, pause, increase your volume, and also answering phone calls. And the other thing that you'll notice, it does use Bose Music. That's a new app, so if you've had Bose products before and you're using Bose Connect, you'll have to install the Bose Music app, which is a new one. I tried uh, getting this paired or actually connected with the Connect, it just doesn't work, so just be aware of that. Uh, the other thing that you have here is a little nice compartment, it's magnetic, that has your travel cords. So here you have a USB-C charging cable, and then what you have here is your aux cable. All of that tucked away really nicely in this magnetic uh, little compartment here. Now before we take a closer look at the headphones, let's take a look at some of the specs that you may be interested in. So first of all, Bluetooth 5.0, that's good. Uh, you have Bluetooth range of up to 33 feet. That's also good. Uh, battery charge time of two and a half hours, and it has a quick time charge. So quick time charge, 15 minutes is gonna give you three and a half hours. That's definitely good. And then you have a battery life of up to 20 hours. Now one of the features that sets apart the Bose 700 is the mic array. So you have an eight mic array system. And in that eight mic array system, you're gonna see that some of those mics are used for canceling the noise, and others are gonna be used to uh, pick up your voice. So you're not gonna have to yell, you're not going to have to, uh, I would say, battle with the noise around you. It's gonna cancel the noise, and it's also gonna make sure that you're clearly heard. And you can see that uh, two of those microphones, combined with two others, are used to deliver that superior voice uh, kind of clarity when you're on a phone call. And again, we're gonna test this out. Now taking a closer look at the headphones, you'll notice that you have a really nice headband here that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility. It has kind of that memory foam with synthetic leather on the top on the bottom, but it's very flexible. You have the synthetic leather here, as well as each one of the ear cups is labeled so that you know right and the left one. Uh, you do have um, some buttons that are gonna give you access on this side uh, to, again, your noise canceling, powering it on, and then also your voice assistance. Now, the right ear cup, which is this one right here, uh, does have a touch surface, and this touch surface is gonna allow you to answer phone calls, skip forward, raise volume, all the controls, everything is going on here, play, pause, all those controls. Now, the other thing that you'll notice from the ear cups is that you do have the ability to adjust them, move them up and down, and let's go ahead and put this on so you can see what this looks like. All right, so as you can see here, this is what they look like in my head. I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the right. I'm gonna turn to the left. And the one thing that you'll notice about these is that they're not as tapered as some other headphones. So you'll notice I can put my fingers through here. So when I wear my Sonys, my Sonys don't have this space. When I have my Plantronics, they don't have that. If I'm wearing the Jabra Elite 85H, they don't have it. So they do come out a little bit. So you'll have to you know, just think about or consider that if that's something that bothers you or not. Uh, the ear cuffs do fit well around your ear. And I can tell you I don't have any overheating. 
Uh, the other thing that I'll tell you is that they do cover my ears well. On some of the headphones, I've had problems with the ear pieces, maybe not covering them well. The clamping is not that bad. And I'll tell you, passive noise isolation is actually really good. And we're going to do a test so you can hear what I hear. So everything feels really good here. And again, the controls are easy to access. And then you have all those mics. And if we take a look at those mics, you can see um, kind of this array right here, how it's all opened up. So let's do a call quality test. And we'll talk about audio quality and we'll test passive and active noise canceling. All right, guys, so now we're simulating a call quality test using the Bose 700 active noise canceling headphones. As you can see here, we have a loud environment, an office setting, coffee shop setting, a lot of noise, anywhere from 60 to 70, maybe even up to 80 decibels in loudness. And you can hear how it sounds. So, what we're going to do is we'll switch the Bose 700 to hear how they sound. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is what the call quality would sound like on the Bose 700. I'm speaking in a low tone. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. This is what the Bose 700 active noise canceling headphones sound like. Let me know what you think about the call quality in the comment area below. All right, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and test the active noise canceling feature. And I have the hear through technology on. So now you hear everything I hear in this noisy environment. You can see that we're anywhere from 60, maybe all the way up to 80 decibels in sound. So it's pretty loud. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to move the dial and you're going to hear one, two, three as the Bose headphones is letting me know what the noise canceling setting is at. So I'm going to stay quiet and I'm just going to switch and then you can hear what you may or may not hear if you have the Bose 700. Let's do that. What do you think? Now you may not be able to hear my voice too clearly, but now we're at setting 10. This is the maximum noise cam playing that you can get when wearing these ear cups. What do you think about the noise quality? Let's go ahead and push some of the buttons to see what kind of settings we have going on here. We can see what else we can cycle through. That's our Siri control. And let's hit Google. We'll try this one. So that went to five. I went to zero again. And that's ten. What do you think about the noise canceling? Let me know in the comment area below. So now let's talk about the music quality. Basements and highs are all there. And I have to say that being so critical of Bose in the past, these are my favorite Bose headphones. They sound absolutely amazing. Bass is there, mids are there, highs are there. And let me share with you a song that I was testing. So I was looking at this song from Russ, just haven't met yet. And if you're listening to this, either on Spotify or on another um, application, um, and you're going through uh, 26 seconds, I'm going to hit play. And as we're moving on, and as soon as you hit 30, so this is all vocals, and what it's going to do at 35, you have this bass that kicks in. And boy, it has a good punch to it. So I find that the bass has really, really improved on these. So you have, again, clear mids, great highs. You have the bass, and the bass is punchier, probably the punchiest bass that I've had of any Bose headphone. Uh, but one of the things I will say is that if you compare these to the Sennheisers, I would say that the, the actual clarity, the sound stage on the Sennheisers, even the earbuds, is going to be far superior than the Bose. But once again, as we look at Bose and Bose focus on active noise canceling, and then, uh, which is the primary thing. And the second thing, looking at the call quality, which you just saw. And then the third thing is the actual music reproduction or your audio experience. I think these are definitely a step up. They've improved them significantly, giving you great bass, mids, and highs. But if you're an audiophile and you really are looking for Sennheiser quality, they're still not there, but they're definitely above all the others in the Bose line. So that concludes our review of the Bose 700 active noise canceling headphones. What did you think about the call quality? What did you think about the active noise canceling? Are they superior as they claim? I'd love to hear from you. And if you'd want me to do a comparison between either the Sony M3s or the new Jabra's, let me know in the comment area below. I'd love to hear from you.